take one more step and I will cut you like a fish. Nice and easy. Good. Put your backpack down. You want to test me or do you want to just set the damn bag down? Smart choice. Want to tell me what you're doing all the way out here? Passing through. <sighs> like I'd believe that. The closest road from here is at least six miles away. No one just strays that far. You're looking for something. <laughs> oh yeah? What is it you're looking for? Someone. You're looking for someone. Okay, who is that someone? You don't know? How the hell are you looking for someone you don't know? Okay, fine. Don't explain it to me. No, really, it's okay. I don't really care. Do you at least know what direction you're headed? No? Okay. So, where the hell are you trying to end up? Holy shit, we are talking in circles. So, you're looking for someone you don't know, in a random direction, with no end destination in mind. So, how can I help you? No, not because I like you, but because the faster you figure out who, what, and where you're going, the faster you get out of my hair. not grumpy. You can grab her bag now, but don't even think about trying anything because I do keep my knife on me and easily accessible. <laughs> you obviously haven't come across a lot of humans around here, have you? Because the humans around here seem to behave worse than the monsters. Mm -hmm. They'll go after anyone for sport. Yep. It seems to be a terrible fate. Why? Uh, I don't know. I guess when the world turns to total anarchy, people's morals tend to get skewed. Me? What about me? My morals? Well... My morals aren't exactly saint-worthy, but I don't believe in mindless killing, or torture, or any of the other terrible things the crazies out there do to people. No, 
I wouldn't say I'm more of a lover and not a fi- You know, I don't know. I just try to avoid people in general. Yeah, I'm on my own. Easier that way. Easier to keep track of everything. Only worry about keeping myself alive. Don't have to worry about anybody else. It's better that way. Lonely? <laughs> it's the end of the world. Being lonely is the least of my problems. I don't know if it's really living, but at least I'm alive. What do you mean? <laughs> do not go all philosophical on me. The world is ending and the meaning of life is the least of my priorities. What about you? No, not the meaning of life. <laughs> I mean people. Got any people out here waiting for you? So there's no one out there for you. <sighs> so you're just walking around Looking for something to do? All right. Hold on. Hmm? I'm thinking. You know what? Come with me this way. This way is the change of plans. Mm -hmm. Well, since you have no end goal in mind and just plan on wandering the earth being philosophical until the answer falls in your lap, I'll let you stay with me tonight. You can figure out where you're going overnight and I can send you on your way in the morning. It's not for you, it's for me. It's already getting close to nightfall and frankly, monsters of all kinds are harder to spot in the dark. And considering how easily I was able to sneak up and grab you, I'm not exactly confident in your ability to protect yourself and honestly, I'm not in the mood to play bodyguard right now. Oh yes, I'm sure you are handling everything just fine on your own. Let's just go. Come on, it's this way. Watch your steps. The roots protrude up here. Don't want you to fall. Here. I don't have too many extra blankets, but... These should at least keep you warm throughout the night. Don't worry about the fire. The buildings hide the smoke. <laughs> Jumpy, are you? Don't worry about them. They're far away and they can't make it up here. I'm 100% sure. There's really only one way in and one way out, and they're not smart enough to figure out the way. If you're gonna be scared of anything, it should be raiders. They are dangerous. And smart enough to make it in here. <laughs> Relax. You think I would feel so calm and safe if raiders could just waltz right in here? No. I have traps set all around the building. 
So if anyone were to try and break in, I'd hear about it before they even got close enough to know where I was. Which also reminds me to tell you that there are hidden traps, so don't go wandering around unless you want to risk running into bear traps, nets, fire, and all the other contraptions I've set up in the halls. Is it dangerous? Oh, yeah, but we'll be safe. Well, considering I set them all up, I'm technically the key. So, as long as you stick with me, you won't get hurt. I promise, you'll be fine. I've been here for months and I've been fine. <laughs> yeah, I guess you could call this my part of the city. It's mainly mine, because most people don't even know I'm here. There is another group on the other side of the city, but we have a deal in place. I go out and find things everyone needs, and they let me have my corner and keep outsiders at bay. Or, at the very least, warn me to be careful. Yeah, that's what I do. I scavenge. Eh, kinda like it. It's easy to do on my own, keeps me alive, makes me valuable. Yeah, I like being needed. <laughs> I'm not lonely, but it's nice to have a purpose. No, oh, I'm not lonely. You don't know what you're talking about. Okay. Maybe it gets a little tiniest bit lonely. But only a super tiny minuscule bit. No, I haven't always been alone. Have you? I'm sorry. I had my dad. Mm -hmm. My dad was with me. He died. It was a uh, scavenge gone wrong. Yeah, he taught me everything I know. We were a team. We were arguably the best around but we got comfortable honestly probably a little cocky we had made our way to an old grocery store where we held extra supplies we'd been there so many times and i guess we just didn't check everywhere hard enough and it just came out of nowhere it got him good we killed it after you know, the initial shock. But we realized he'd gotten scratched in the scuffle. I cried a lot, but he told me I knew how to survive and that I would, but I had to leave him behind, carry on without him. I offered to stay with him, and I told him I would have died there with him. But of course, being the amazing dad he is, 
He made me promise to live the best life I could. Reminded me that he loved me. He gave me all the supplies I could carry and told me to move. I'd never go back to that city or that store. It was really hard, but I eventually left. Shortly after, gunshot rang out and I've been on my own ever since. It's okay. It was almost a year ago now, so I'm fine. <sighs> now that you've had a few hours to think, do you have any idea where you're headed? Well, there's groups you could join. The group on the other end of the city seemed pretty nice. I mean, very communal people, if you know, want to be a part of a community and shit like that. Or, you know, if you want to join a band of smugglers, they're not that hard to find. You could join raiders, although I haven't really met any decent raiders, so I'd just be really careful. But, if you're having trouble deciding, well, you're not as annoying as I originally assumed. So, if you need a few extra days to figure out where to go, then... I wouldn't absolutely hate sharing my space with you. No, it's not me warming up to you. It's it's me being You know what? Shut up and go to sleep before I leave you to the monsters. Night to you too.